What is going on guys? My name is Dustin. Welcome back to the Minecraft channel and welcome back to the Gothic House tutorial. Before I continue on and show you what we did, make sure you guys check the link down in the description below. You'll find my daily vlog channel, you'll find my awesome sponsors and stuff like that. So anyways guys, this is exactly what we did in this episode. We started laying out the foyer, we got this hallway done, cool little room, and we did furnishing in the living room. And we got some stuff sectioned off. So in the next episode guys, we're going to go ahead and continue on and keep doing interior. So guys, make sure you watch past this part, then watch past my actual intro in order to see the tutorial on how to do this step by step. And make sure you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Alright guys, welcome back to the Gothic House tutorial, and we're going to go ahead and start at the inside today guys, so the interior is coming now. Now I decided we're going to try to do this kind of, not really room by room, but kind of section by section at a time, because there's different elevations of this house, and I don't want any of you guys to necessarily get confused. So we're going to go ahead and walk right through the front door, and this is what we are greeted with. So basically we're going to work on the foyer, the living room, and then we're going to go ahead and do some of the bathroom as well. So let's run through the materials, guys. You want some dark oak wood stairs, dark oak wood planks, dark oak wood logs, dark oak wood slabs, chiseled quartz block, beacon, green carpets, and some swiftness. Plus, we'll be using other stuff anyway. Like, we're actually going to need a block of quartz, I just realized. And let's go ahead and grab ourselves a block of quartz, or a quartz stair as well. Um, and then we'll be, like, we'll be switching some stuff in and out as we go through. So... First things first, guys, I want to kind of lay out where these steps are going to go. So you want to count back on this wall here. This is when you walk in. This is directly to the right. You want to count back one, two, three, and four. So on this block right here, you want to go ahead and place two dark oak wood steps like so. So now basically you're going to go ahead and just start filling this part in with dark oak wood planks. And this is actually going to be where the floor is going to go. But... Just bring it out to right there for right now, and if you want to, you know, OCD, go ahead and fill it in there as well. And this is what we have so far. Not much, but we're just starting out, guys, so bear with me. Okay, so we want to fly up, and we're actually going to count down here. Let me see if I have a better screenshot of what that looks like. Um... I did not. I did not take that into consideration. Okay, guys, so where the, the foyer roof is going to go, you want to come down to about this first window right here, okay? And bring it over so it's in line with this. Like this, you want to be in line with, with like, the quartz on this first window here. And bring that over for right now. And then just fill this in a little bit. And then what you want to do is you want to count down from this this block right here, the one we just placed, that's going to be one, two, let me see actually, no, okay, so you want to count from this block right here, the one that's in line with this quartz right here, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks, go ahead and fill that in all the way across, real quick, oh, it just got really dark here, okay, so there's that um did i have a picture yeah okay so now what you want to do down below that right here go ahead and place an upside down step every other block and then go ahead and place full blocks in between and that's as low as that is going to come right there so basically what's going to happen is on this level right here you want to go ahead and take some chiseled quartz and bring that across just like this Okay, and it's going to be like that. So this is going to be the foyer, and there's going to be like a chandelier that hangs down there. So let me go ahead and get a good look at how this pattern is going to go. Okay, so what you want to do is go ahead and take your dark oak wood stairs, and you want to place it upside down here and here. And then you want to place one upside down here, here, and then just go ahead and repeat that. So it kind of looks like that. And then all you're going to do is go ahead and take some dark oak slabs and just connect the ends of the stairs together like that. And it kind of looks like a little hashtag symbol. So basically, later on, we'll put a chandelier there. I'm not going to do it right now, but that is where a chandelier will go, just so you guys do understand. Um, let me go back a little bit. I got to 
took these screenshots weird. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna place a little bit of lighting now. So you wanna come one block forward and break out these two. Break out these two. And you wanna replace those with dark oak wood steps. And then you wanna go ahead and break out this in between, and then go ahead and replace those with beacons. So now let's go ahead and crouch and place green carpet or any carpet color of choice on top like that. And actually, you know what? To kind of hide that there, let's go ahead and make this dark oak and then just have the beacons in the middle. It's going to give off the same amount of light and you're not going to be able to see it. So it's just going to look like it blends in there. There we go. So we have that so far. So now, you know, we're going to go ahead and add another thing of steps here. And I'm not sure exactly how high these steps go up yet, um, but we're going to go ahead and do some stuff here with the dark oak wood logs in a second. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of this green carpet real quick. I didn't mean to get rid of the quartz stair, uh, but let's get rid of the green carpet. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves some anvils for right now, and we're going to have this. Okay, so what we're going to do is right here, there's going to be a log and then two logs like that. And then let's go ahead and bring this out as well. Um, a few more blocks. It's a pretty long hallway. So go ahead and do that. And looks like we're going to have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, like six anvils going up. So there's going to be one, two. Oh, let me mute my computer. There we go. And then this is going to come up three, four. five and then six for right now so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do so let's go and kind of fill this in real quick just like this if you guys hear any noise in the background I do apologize and there we go okay so there is that which is looking absolutely perfect okay so oops my phone just went off, guys. Okay, so what we are going to do is right here, we're going to go ahead and place an upside down quartz stair there. And there's a good reason why we're doing that. And what we're going to do here is bring out this quartz wall as well. I don't want to bring it up like too high just yet. So let's go ahead and do this. And to right there is fine for right now. And then you're going to go ahead and place a quartz stair there. So it's looking something like that. So now what's going to happen is you're going to go ahead and take your chiseled quartz and you're going to come off of this and you're going to bring this straight back just like that. So that's what it looks like. So it does kind of drop down a little bit right there as you guys can see. And this is what we're working with so far. Not too bad guys. Not too bad at all. So now you want to count back right here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then right here, you want to break out a little two block, or actually break out three blocks, place an upside down step here, and then you want to come back next to that, a total of, just bring that to there, a total of two, like so, and then delete these, these are just a count. Boom. Okay, so this is going to be like a little kind of like Harry Potter room, that's what I like to call it. And now let's go ahead and kind of bring this back as well. It does not matter how high yet. Um, let's just bring it to there. So let's take a layer off this as well. Let's just bring it even with this here. And let's go ahead and just kind of fill this part back to right there is perfectly fine. This can come out a little bit as well to right there. And like I said, this is going to be like a tiny little room. So basically this is going to, you know, all be covered up like that. So you have a little room here. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this. We got that. Okay, so I need to check my screenshot real quick here. Okay, so we're going to come in behind. Let's go ahead and keep bringing this chisel quartz out because this chisel quartz is going to come out a little ways like that. And then down here, I'm going to go ahead and place two logs just like that, just behind 
that chord sing there. And you want to go ahead and take upside down dark awkward stairs and place like that. So now we're entering into like the living room area type thing. So type thing. We're entering into the living area. And what it's going to look like is let's go ahead and let's bring down these logs right here as well. Stop them. Okay, um, wait a second here. Do, do, do I need to push this back one block? Okay, yeah. Um, this needs to be moved back one block. So in line with this, go ahead and bring this down. One, two, one, two. Here we go. And then let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Perfect. So then now it's going to be the, um upside down quartz stairs here like uh, that that's better there we go so now like as you can tell this wall is like going to be flush this wall is going to come out because it's going to be you'll see you'll see exactly what I mean here in a second so okay so basically right here you're going to place an anvil and on top of that anvil, you guessed it, you're gonna go ahead and grab, I'm just gonna grab some, some spruce leaves, and you wanna place one, two, three, four spruce leaves, just like that, okay? So now let's go ahead and bring this chisel quartz out, like so, and then right here we're gonna come down with some dark oak wood logs down to it's even with the floor. So basically, you guys can tell right now that this floor is going to expand all the way just fill this entire area in right here let's go ahead and grab our swiftness and make filling this in just a little bit faster i don't know if this is the best best method for the interior tutorial but this is what we're going for here so we're just gonna have to deal with it guys just like this and obviously you know we'll replace what needs to be replaced and everything like that as well so don't you worry about a thing. So let's go ahead and just, let's just run this straight down to this wall here, like this, same thing, bring this just straight across, leave that gap open, and we'll fix that little, those little holes and stuff you guys will see. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and just kind of fill this entire area in with some dark oak wood slabs, and leave this open as well, because that's going to be a bathroom and the floor is going to be a little bit different, but just kind of square in this area like I did and it will make it a lot easier trust me so yeah I'm not the best at interior tutorials by any means but I'm trying my hardest for you guys to get this to look nice I just don't know how to go about doing this stuff sometimes so I'm, I'm still learning guys I'm still learning if you guys want to check out my video from yesterday it was literally it was about the scariest moment of my life that I've ever had in my entire life and it was it's definitely good you should uh you should go watch that. So right here, guys, you know, this is going to come out as well. And this is going to be a wall. So just bring it out so it's two blocks past there for right now. And this is what we are working with. Okay, so now what we want to do is go ahead and we're going to fill this in a total of, looks like, um, one, two, three, four, five blocks. So that's one, two, three, four and there's five just like that I believe we can just leave it like that for right now so basically what we are going to do let's get rid of that oops we need those back okay you want to go ahead and grab some bookshelves and you want to come one block to the right and place one two and that is going to go up that's a total of one two three four so that's two three four blocks tall perfect skip a block go ahead and place an anvil with some with four bushes on top and then right here go ahead and place this and because this is just going to come out and turn anyway um like so and bring it out so it sticks two blocks past the anvil there's one and there's two and then what you want to go ahead and do is just go ahead and take your chisel quartz and just kind of fill in this area here and same thing over here guys go ahead and fill this in 
as well. I don't know if this space is unused, honestly. Okay, there's that. And then, don't forget guys, you can also bring it over this as well, but I would just kind of go ahead and bring it to here, um, because this is going to keep stepping up, and you'll, you'll see when we get to the upper floors, but this is what we are working with so far. It looks really weird, it's kind of dark, I'm sorry. But now, as you can see, it comes out two past that. We're going to go ahead and skip a block here. And we're going to bring this up because we know that is where this is going to go. So then you want to go ahead and go one, two blocks down, place a slab underneath. It's just a really high, like, archway, doorway, whatever you want to call it. And basically, this is just going to run straight down into this wall here. So you just want to go ahead and take your logs and do this. This living room is very wood themed, <laughs> if you can't tell. Um, so if you don't like that, then feel free to change it up however you want. And actually what I'm going to do is get rid of these bookshelves real quick and these and these. And I'm going to grab my swiftness back and grab some... Uh, we need some... what's it called? Night vision. Where's the night vision? There we go. It's just going to make seeing a little bit easier. Okay, so now what you want to do is, we actually do need this back, so let's get rid of the beacons real quick. And grab this, come to this corner, place that, and then one, two, three, and four on top of it, just like so. Now, what we are going to do is... The fireplace. We're going to actually work on the fireplace a little bit here. So let's go ahead and do this fireplace. So, let's go ahead and get rid of those materials. Let's go ahead and get rid of those two as well. Let's grab some some polished andesite, some regular andesite, um, some stone brick stairs, and some stone brick slabs. We need some stone brick blocks as well. Uh, that, and then let's go ahead and get rid of this. Move this, these down, and then let's grab our stone brick stairs. Okay. So basically right here you just want to go ahead and take your andesite down and just kind of fill this in like that and then go ahead and bring it up here as well. Just fill this in solid andesite like that. Alright guys, sorry about that. I had to really like inspect the fireplace here, but we got it. Um, so this is what we have. You want to go ahead and place... Um, oops, I don't need that. Go ahead and take your polished andesite, go to here, to here, like so. Take that out. And then right here you want to do steps, steps again. And then on this level right here, go ahead... And bring this out, stone brick stairs, out and around like that. Can we place a stair? No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So go ahead and make us a full block, and then you want to go ahead and place a stair like that, a stair like that, and then like this, and like this, and then go ahead and fill it in with slabs. So it looks like that. And then right here you want to go ahead and place steps upside down, one on top, just like so. Go ahead and place a full block, and then what you are going to do next is go ahead and place upside down stair there, and there, there and there and then on the inside as well like that and there is the fireplace so now we can get rid of that let's go ahead and grab back our anvils let's grab all this stuff back let's grab this back as well and we can't forget that okay so now what you want to do is basically skip Two blocks again and place that and then one two three and four perfect and then right here guys 
this is going to be more wall that is going to come out like that. So basically what you can do now is go ahead and take the chisel quartz, take the night vision and the swiftness back. Let's take this swiftness. Let's take this chisel quartz and run it all the way down just like this. And we will be good to go here in just a second. Just bring it straight down. Boom, boom, boom. Just like this, guys. Really easy. And of course, you know, we're going to have like a, the roof design as well to put in with the lights and, and everything else. So we'll get to that. Just hang in there. This episode might be a little longer than normal because of interior stuff. Okay, so as you can see, it's coming along. And what you want to do right here, actually, is go ahead and actually go ahead and grab some polished andesite here and kind of fill that in like that. You know, do the same thing here as well. Like so, and then just boom, boom. Or whatever you need to do. Let's go ahead and grab some night vision. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and get rid of this wood. And let's get rid of this other material as well. Just like that. So what we want to do is we want to grab some spruce wood, actually. So you want to go ahead and grab some spruce wood stairs, some spruce wood slabs, some quartz slabs, and a carpet color of choice I'm going to be using green. Okay, so there's that. And what we are going to do next is actually, you know what? Go ahead and grab your andesite, and this is going to be filled in like so. And then while we're here, let's go ahead and grab... Let's light this fireplace. Let's go ahead and grab some... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I never light fireplaces. We need another rack. There we go. Another rack right there. We're then going to grab some... We need iron bars. Where are the iron bars? There are the iron bars. Place them in there. And then let's go ahead and grab some flint and steel. I believe... I can't remember what it looks like in the default text track. There it is. Light that. And there you go. Now we don't need this stuff anymore. Okay, so we want the spruce wood stairs. So basically, you want to go ahead and place a block on each side like that. And go ahead and do like this. And there's a reason why. And it's because right here, in between these two blocks, you want an upside down spruce wood stair. Okay, an upside down spruce wood stair, just like that. So then what you want to do is go ahead and take three quartz slabs, three quartz slabs again. Place a placeholder block there. Actually, go ahead and place a placeholder block there. Take out one of these slabs right now. And then place another upside down step like that. And then fill it, then replace the slabs like that. There we go. That's an easier way to go about it. And what you want to do is go ahead and place green carpet there. Place green carpet here. And you can take out this these blocks there, holding it in place just like that. And then go ahead and place a green carpet in the middle. And then it looks like you are going to have an upside down stair here as well. Like so. With a regular step. Like this. And then an upside down step like this. like that and then a slab in the middle like so and that's going to be a little couch design now basically what you want to do is go ahead and place well here we go make it one block away from the fireplace like this like that perfect and then right here one block away you want to go ahead and do this this 
and then go ahead and take two green and then two steps whoops and then two steps like that in there is that part and that's just the little furniture design thing that we have going on there okay so basically you want to come two blocks come out another block with we don't need this stuff anymore um, we need we need to do this stuff back though okay so what you want to do is come out another block right and then come out yet another block like so and then in line with the second one two blocks away go and place an upside down we actually want the spruce wood just like this and then come out two an upside down step there we go and then right here this is actually going to be a log and it's gonna stop there and then you want to bring this one all the way down because this is technically gonna be a little doorway here um, that we'll get to when we actually start furnishing that part okay so what we're gonna do is gonna come over here real quick as you can see it's going to come you want to come one block past that and then you want to skip a total of three break that out and then go ahead and take your dark oak wood steps and place it like this and that's going to act as a little kind of divider and then this is just going to be solid wall um, right now we might furnish the bathroom and more in the next episode because this is taking a while and I have to cut some stuff out of this video like me flying over to the other house and stuff like that so there's that come down one two one two one two like so slabs boom 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 perfect there's that so then what you're going to do is come one block back here place one two three and four and we're gonna have like a little fish tank design so cut that stuff out there and then we're gonna have like a little fish tank design in here so you can cut that out and it looks a little strange right now I promise but we'll get to that in the next episode as well um, well actually we can do it real quick basically you're just gonna take some grass blocks place it there and then just go ahead and take some we actually want some ice where is the ice 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 regular ice and just place regular ice like that and then you know there's gonna be a wall back there and it's just gonna be a little fish tank thing it looks really cool trust me so there's that um now for the kind of the, the roof because the roof is going to be very very important and to make it look better take those off I think that looks a little more solid for the fireplace the way it doesn't look as crowded okay so there's that now for this basically what you want to do is come up one block like on even with that skip to place that there okay so we know that this is going to run all the way down and it's just gonna run into those which is fine that's that's what we want and then bring that down like that okay so now in this section you want to go ahead and take out these three blocks like in these corners here just like that and basically what you're going to do is take your quartz stair and your beacon and you're gonna place an upside down quartz stair here and here with a gap in the middle and that's where you're gonna place the beacon and you're gonna do the same thing here so that's a beacon upside down quartz stair upside down quartz stair okay so now you want to come one block back and then right here you're going to have this and this is going to oh no it's actually right here boom and then this is going to run across like that okay so let's go ahead and do the same thing in this corner as well take out those three take out those three and then go ahead and do the same thing yet again there we go there we go whoops it's supposed to be upside down there we go perfect so then we know that it's going to do one of these like that and we're off to a really good start for right now um 
Now let me check something real quick. Okay, so... Basically, you want to go ahead and do that again. One, two, three. Like that. Break out one, two, three again. So then we know this is going to do this. Like that. And then you're going to have one, two, three here as well. And then let's go ahead and take this across. And then this is going to go one, two, three like that. And then right here, break out these two. And these two, and we're going to go ahead, and these are just going to be upside down steps. It's just a nice little design. Like this, and then right here, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, and it's just going to be beacons. Instead. So boom, boom, boom. And then let's go ahead and do this one. Okay, so there's that, and I think that's that's pretty much it for the lighting in here. Um, yeah, that's it. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. Um, I do apologize. We'll do more in the next episode, guys. I just don't want it to take too long. In the next episode, we'll go ahead and we'll furnish this bathroom and stuff like that as well. So it shouldn't take too long. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. As always, I'll see you later in the video. Bye-bye! the 2500 subs at the time and I'm sure you guys hear of swatting it is very common to youtubers and to live streamers it happens all the time and when I saw this it scared me because I thought I was being swatted that's what I thought I'm like oh crap like these people don't know I'm in the car like what if they go like knock on the door I'm not there like this is gonna be bad I was so freaked out and I have anxiety so you could only imagine my thoughts were racing a million miles a minute I could not keep a clear head to save my life I was 